This video is how to use MetaMask Bridge. With the bridge, we can actually send tokens from our account on one network over to another network, keeping the tokens in our same account and our same wallet address just on a different network. So what I would do is get your MetaMask extension up and then I would click the three dots here and just press expand view firstly. And from here, I would add the networks in that I'm going to use. So if you don't have them added already, in the top left, click this and then just add the networks in, right? So you go to add network, they should be here in a list, add the networks in that you want to use and bridge between. If you can't see them here, you're gonna to have to add them manually and too much for this video, but just go and find the details of the networks that you want to add. You can go to chainlist.org, I'll link it below and it gives you all of the details of the chains that you might wanna bridge between. Now from here, we have to press MetaMask Bridge, which is this icon right here. On the extension, if you have that, it's the same icon. MetaMask Bridge. So click this, and this is going to take us actually through to MetaMask Portfolio, which is where the bridge exists. MetaMask Portfolio is just the new version of MetaMask, sort of, and you get some extra features. And you're going to have to actually connect your wallet here. So in the top right hand corner, click Connect Wallet. And that's going to go through and connect the wallet that you want to connect and actually bridge from. So I'm going to click this one, which is the wallet that I want to use press connect right here and that connects my wallet and it can read all my balances. Now MetaMask Bridge isn't actually a bridge within itself. They're essentially aggregating a bunch of different bridges and giving you the best trade at the current time, much like they do with the swap feature. But in any case, just make sure that you have the wallet connected that you want to bridge from. That's in the top right here because MetaMask Portfolio allows you to add multiple accounts. So just make sure you've got the one added that you want to bridge from. Now, second is that not every network is supported for bridging. So from this network, that's where you have the tokens that you want to send out to a different network. So if I click this, you can see the supported networks are pretty much at the moment, just the main networks. So choose where you have the assets that you want to bridge. Now, you're also going to have to pay a gas fee here as well for the transaction, which if you're using layer twos should be very small, but you, you have to make sure that you have some gas coin in the network that you're bridging from. So for most networks, that's ETH, but if you're using Avalanche, for example, that would be AVAX or Polygon would be Matic. So just make sure you know which network you're bridging from and that you have enough gas to pay for the transaction. I'm gonna press base right here. Now we wanna choose the network that we wanna bridge to. And again, not every network is supported, but you can pretty much choose any of these to bridge to. So there's no restrictions here. So I'm gonna choose Optimism. And then you send, this is the token that you want to bridge over. So I'm going to search right here and I'm just going to search for ETH and it shows that I've got a balance of ETH. Now you can see there are many different tokens available, right? So whichever one that you want to bridge over. So I'm just going to bridge ETH right here and then you receive. Now, actually what you can do is receive a completely different token. You don't have to receive the same token. So if I want to receive maybe USDC or something like that, on optimism, I can actually do that. So what they're doing is bridging the value and swapping into the different token. Now that may be more expensive as well for you. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and swap the same token and then choose an amount like this. And then essentially what it's gonna do is tell me how much that I'm gonna receive and what the cheapest way of, of uh, bridging it over is. Now, like I said, MetaMask doesn't have its own bridge, it's using third parties. And so what it essentially does is scans the best bridges and the best trade at the current time. So for right now, it says that the best way to bridge is the across bridge, and that's via socket, and that's the best price. Now, for these two networks, which is based on optimism, that's a one minute bridge. So, you know, pretty fast, so no problems there. But you can see that I'm bridging over $16.17 worth of ETH, and I'm getting $15.97. So it's not a big fee in terms of the amount of dollars. It's, you know, just a few cents or whatever, so it doesn't matter. However, if we go down and click this on the right-hand side, you can see the summary. And so I am paying a fee, a swap fee, you know, a bridge fee, uh, and a gas fee as well, which is gonna be low or high depending on which network that you're using. And then right here, you can see there is a MetaMask fee as well. That includes a 0.875% MetaMask fee, which is very, very high, especially if you are bridging larger amounts. It's almost 1% to bridge from one network to another. But in any case, I'm just gonna press switch to base. So you have to obviously go to that network and do the transaction. So I'm gonna switch network, and then I'm going to confirm. 
Now this should bring me through to the page uh, where I just confirm the transaction and have to sign the transaction with my wallet. If you're using a ledger or a Trez or a hardware wallet, you need that plugged in now to obviously sign this transaction. As we can see here, you send this amount of ETH and the estimated fee is two cents plus the MetaMask fee and everything else. And so if you want to go ahead and do that, press confirm right here, and that will take the amount of time it tells you to bridge over from one network to the other. Now doing that with MetaMask is very simple. However, paying MetaMask that fee isn't great. So I've got another tip for you here that may save you a chunk of cash if you're looking to bridge assets. So what I'm going to do is reject this transaction, and then I'm actually going to search for the bridge directly and cut MetaMask out of the transaction. So there are many bridges out there. Across bridge, you can go and search for this bridge if you want and connect your wallet to it directly. But I'm just gonna show you a bridge for an example here. So Stargate is a very popular bridge and it works with MetaMask as well. So what we're gonna do is go to stargate.finance. This is the link right here. I'll link them below as well, just so you know you're going to the right place. And we're gonna connect a wallet. Then we're gonna go MetaMask here. And we've got our MetaMask set up already, so we are connected. Then up at the top, I'm gonna to press transfer. You can just see that up at the top here, it's in gray. And we're actually gonna use the bridge directly and we could save a chunk of cash and not pay the MetaMask fee. So transfer, I'm going to transfer from the base network. And that's the one we're on right now. And we're gonna transfer that over to the Optimism network, exactly the same as what we did in MetaMask. And the token I'm gonna to select is ETH and then bridge ETH over as well exactly the same amount and you can see yes we are paying a small fee here but we are cutting metamask out and so we might be getting a better trade you can see you'll receive an amount of eth here the slippage is 0.5 percent between it but we're paying a one cent fee so we can press transfer here and what's going to happen is it's going to open up my metamask and you know ask me to sign this transaction again so you may not want to do this, but in any case, it doesn't really matter. You can go and search for the best bridge and see what is going to be the cheapest way to actually bridge your assets from one uh, one network to another. It might be MetaMask through their bridge. It might be using a bridge directly like this. Uh, so you can check that at the time that you actually want to bridge and bridge using the cheapest method. If you are just looking to get assets from one Ethereum network to another, you may just want to use your centralized exchange as a bridge. I don't personally like to use bridges that much because they've been targets of hacks and everything else. And so you may just want to take your tokens and then just press send, send them into your centralized exchange, wait a couple of minutes, and then withdraw them over the different network. That's an easy way to bridge between networks and you're using a centralized exchange as a bridge, which is typically cheaper because all you're doing is just sending tokens, which is usually the cheapest blockchain transaction as well. And so depending on the cost, that may be a better option for you cutting out the bridge altogether.